Okay, our story for today is Ant and Grasshopper. Ant was rich. His house was very grand with many rooms and the storeroom was his favorite. All through the spring and summer, he worked hard gathering things to eat for the winter. And every afternoon, he went to the storeroom to count them. By June, he had 947 beans, 28 raisins, and a fine smelly wedge of yellow cheese. 945, he counted, 946, 947. Then he took exactly three bites of cheese. Delicious, he said, and began to count his raisins. One day, as he sat counting, he heard a noise. Shh, he said, I'm counting. The noise went on and on. Ant opened the door, and there on his lawn stood a grasshopper, playing a fiddle. Well, I never, said Ant. Well, I always, said Grasshopper. It's June, Ant. The sun is warm, the sky is blue. Come out and dance. I'll play for you. Humph, said Ant. You should be storing up food for the winter, not fiddling around wasting time. All summer long, Ant worked hard. Every afternoon, he counted his beans and his raisins and his cheese. And all summer long, he heard Grasshopper playing his fiddle and singing. Sometimes the music got into Ant's head and made him lose count. 24, no, 26, oh, drat that hopper grass. September came. It was harvest time, and Ant added to his rich store. He had 604 kernels of corn, 72 peanuts, and a piece of ham bigger than he was. Delicious and nutritious, he said. Come ye thankful creatures, come, sing a song of harvest home. All is safely gathered in, ere the winter storms begin, sang Grasshopper, peeking in the window. Oh, hush, said Aunt yanking down the shade. October came, with bright leaves tumbling on a breeze that carried a promise of winter. Ant sat fidgeting at his desk, trying to add up his accounts, but his pen kept making swans out of the twos and fat snowmen out of the eights, and the numbers hopped around in his head, refusing to settle down. 604 kernels of corn gathered on a summer morn. No, 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 seven ounces of ham, yes, ma'am. Oh, for heaven's sake, what is wrong with me? He heard a tap, tap, tapping and flung open the door. Oh, aunt, let me in, there's a good fellow. It's getting cold and I'm so hungry. Ha, said aunt, I knew it was you. With your fiddle de doo I warned you, you danced and sang all summer while respectable folk worked hard for a living, and it serves you right. Good night. And he slammed the door and went back to counting. November blew in, cold and blustery. Woo, cried the wind, rattling the windows while Aunt paced back and forth. I'm sure I don't know what's gotten into me, he muttered. He sat down by the fire, watching the flames dance up the chimney. I wonder, said Aunt, I wish. The clock struck ten. Bong, 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 bong. Aunt went to bed. But fragments of rhyme and wisps of music jangled about in his head, and he thrashed and kicked till the bedclothes were all a tangle. When at last he fell asleep, he dreamed he stood on a stage before a great crowd that shouted, Play, dance, sing. 
and he couldn't play a note or dance a dance. He opened his mouth to sing, but there wasn't one song in him, no song at all. I can't. I'm an ant. Boo, roared the crowd. Boo. The cold, hateful, booing blue ant right out of bed with a bump, and he woke up. The night had grown quiet. Too quiet, thought ant. He ran to the door, and there on the step lay grasshopper, barely visible under a thick layer of snow. Grasshopper? Is that you? said Aunt. What are you doing? Get up, go home. Don't have a home, said Grasshopper, his teeth chattering. No home, exclaimed Aunt. I never heard of such a thing. After a moment, Aunt dragged Grasshopper into the house, where he laid him by the fire in the second best peanut shell. Cold, Grasshopper said, shivering. Oh, yes, indeed, poor fellow. Have some hot cider, said Aunt. But Grasshopper was shivering too hard to swallow. Here, said Aunt, here are five delicious beans and three bites of nutritious cheese and two more licious raisins. But Grasshopper was shivering too hard to eat. Aunt tucked a dandelion down quilt around Grasshopper. I didn't know, Aunt said. I had no idea. I didn't mean... Grasshopper's eyes opened and he looked up at Aunt. Hello, Aunt, he said. Ah, chew. Bless you, said Aunt, wiping the sneeze off his face. Bless you, said Grasshopper. Did I hear you mention beans and raisins? All through the winter, Grasshopper stayed with Aunt, playing and singing every evening when Aunt was done counting. One evening, as the old year drew to a close, the two friends sat by the fire. 1,142, said Aunt, closing the account book with a sigh. Sometimes, he said, sometimes I wish I could sing just a bit, you know. Sing, said Grasshopper. Anyone can sing, but working hard and counting are splendid things. Why, you saved my life with your eleven jillion beans, raisins, and corn. 1,142, actually, said Aunt, including peanuts. But anyone can count. Not me, said Grasshopper. He played a chord on his fiddle. Do you know... Here we come a waffling. He sang it three times through and then rather shyly and, to tell the truth, quite off key, Aunt joined in. Here we come a waffling with syrup and with jam. Here we come to dance a jig and eat a lot of ham. Pizza joy come to you made of pickles, mice and glue. And we wish you and squish you a happy new year. And we wish you a happy new year. I wish I could sing like you, said Aunt. I love the way you sing, said Grasshopper. I wish I could count. Oh, Grasshopper, said Aunt. Everybody counts. The End <laughs>